Jones can still play the game. Maybe not the way he used to play it, but as the San Jose defense has grown a little bit, added Mario Ferraro, for example, he doesn't have to play 26, 28 minutes all the time. The guy can still do it. Not to take a too many men penalty. Kerfoot drops it back to Kasha for the trailer cap. In shoots and he'll get the blocker on that to knock it up and out of play. But he says there's some offense in his game here. Camp is going to lay outside the rush after Kerfoot drives in and he takes the pass from. Thanks it across to Riley. And Riley does that wide bouncing back goes right to Nylander. Centering pass, great chance and tight for bunting off the bench, and he just missed. Been able to cycle the puck and create some scoring chances. This is about the third odd bounce. I mean, they were very good at Montreal, a 5 nothing win. They dominated that game against a reeling Montreal team. Didn't get better last night for Montreal either. Sandin a long shot, got through. Hill the save, cap, but corral the rebound. Simmons is right in front. There's going to be a rebound. Here's Rasmus Sandin's shot that goes all the way through. Hill doesn't see it. He misses it with his blocker and hits him right between the threes. Well, backhand shot there, block, rebound. A loose puck in front. Great chance for Sandin, turned away by Hill come at him here another good shift for Kasha Kerfoot and Camp they cycle the puck around long enough that the loose puck shows up continued on and had a good chance last like a sharp angle shot rebound Couture scores Mark Edward Vlasic with a shot that handcuffed Hutchinson and Couture cashes on the rebound for his second goal of the year he also scored last night in Ottawa he had a tough year last year. There's the shot that Hutchison can't hold. And inside the goal crease, Spence against caught standing alongside a Couture doesn't have his stick tied up. Brody doesn't deny the pass. Everybody's in a little bit of scramble mode as they can't find the puck. And Couture, who's off to a terrific start, said last year was tough for a lot of reasons. Here's Riley back with it. Riley shoots again through the screen of Simmons. That's kicked up by Hill. Riley back across. Bird still out there. That's a loose in front chance for Spence, and that's bounced away. Riley back on it. Hill is down. Simmons gets the shot away. Hill the save. Rebound. Peterson can't get They score. Jason Spence ties it up. Simmons keeps this puck alive. Watch Spence. He double hits this puck. It actually goes backwards. Now it stays alive, and Simmons stays right on top of the puck. He keeps it alive with his effort, and Spence is going to spin, grab the puck onto that toe curve of his, and just fling it by Aiden Hill. And the Leafs, after giving up the first goal, have tied this game in one on Jason Spence's second of the year. Excellent work for Engvall, Spence, and Simmons. Off the inboard, Meyer a chance, that's the fucking just wide. Simmons was the key to that whole thing, keeping the puck alive with his work in front of the net. Timo Meyer shoots, scores! Meyer from a sharp angle, now they're going in from everywhere, and it's 2-1 San Jose. With 18 shots on goal coming into tonight's game, he just takes it from the bottom of the circle, and this goes right through Michael Hutchinson. Not deflected, right through the goaltender, and it's 2-1 San Jose. Throws that rink wide for Dallas. Up for Meyer. Timo Meyer centering pass. Couture drops it back. Dallas in. Shoots. Pass. Saved by Hutchinson. The Sharks lead here in the second period. And Hutchinson a sharp save on Dallas to keep it that way. Errol spins and shoots. That got through. Hutchinson made the stop. Back at the line. Vlasic holds. Long wrist shot. Hutchinson punches that away. Three for a dollar for Vlasic. Shoots again. This time it's blocked. And a chance for Kasha. Andre Kasha on the break. In. Kasha scores. McCauley after the goal as the Sharks have a dominant shift in the offensive zone and it's Thomas Hurdle who's at the blue line and Hurdle's shot is blocked smartly by Kasha the puck goes directly in front of him so he can hunt it down he freezes Aiden Hill an unassisted marker and Andre Kasha has got his first as a Maple Leaf and then he wipes out Wes McCauley on the way by now Carlson Moves and he shoots, he fired that just wide. Out of the line by Middleton. Middleton holds again, back to Carlson. Ian Wine shoots, scores! Eric Carlson!
the fifth goal of the period. Middleton keeps that puck in. And then, oh, it's given away by Matthews. Matthews tries to spin and hit Marner with this. His puck goes right to Middleton. He just slides it to Carlson here. You do with it, whatever you're going to do with it. Head up, and this shot is... Todd Vandal is 15th year. That's stolen by Dallas. Lips it ahead, a chance now for Couture just out of his reach. Henry Pantz oh, from Dallas. What a stop there by Hutchinson. It's a pretty dandy saves as well. Michael Hutchinson with the latest here to keep it 3 suit. Here's Spezza back with it. Spezza bangs it back to Raul's in front for Bobby. Still lose Tavares battling for it. Hill is down. And a mad scramble for the puck, and somehow that stays out. Drops it back to Riley. Riley's pass is knocked away. He led to Engvall. The Simmons shoots, and a glove saved by Hill. And another close chance for Toronto. Playing left wing on this line. Oh, shoots. That's a flex wide. So late in the period, Nylander getting double shifted. Picked up Nylander. Back and front for Bunting. A backhand shot stopped by Hill. Timo Meyer drops it back. And a pick chance there for Dallas. Knocked away. A chance back in front. Dallas picks up. Scores. Jonathan Dallas got his third goal of the season. And the rookie makes it 4-2 to two, San Jose. He went back to the Swedish Hockey League, to their elite league. Said he wasn't ready to play in North America, even though he'd had it. They yeah, just but... couldn't get a save for three years. Uh, you, you don't need the best goaltending in the league. There's Tavares with a chance, and Hill makes a great stop on him. But John Tavares is robbed again by Hill. He spins off the check of Vlasic, backhands it to the net, and Hill's going to get his... Matthews back across to Muzzin, shoots, that's blocked by Bolton. Tavares centers it, Nylander drops it back to Muzzin. Muzzin, the Nylander shoots, kill save, rebound, score! Tavares to the end, and Toronto's back for the goal! Hill high in the collarbone, up near the neck, and the puck will bounce off him. Oh, it's off of Middleton. Touches tomorrow, so they got the arm and then off middle to the end. Oh man, that catches him right high on the shoulder. No way to control that. Picked up by Carlson. Up ahead for Nieto. Nieto is centering pass for Carlson to the goal post. Hutchinson reaches back and hangs on. What a chance that was. And the puck back to center ice. Chance for the empty net for Meyer. Timo Meyer being harassed there by Nylander. San Jose Bench is hollering for a penalty shot. Tavares works in, drops it back. Hard shot taken there by Matthews. He leaned on that one, and Hill makes the stop. Face-off prowess this season. The best face-off team in the league. They've got plenty of options to look for the equalizer. Six skaters on five for Toronto. The drop pass to Matthews. Here he comes around Couture. In across the line, banks it there to himself. Marner, looking for the puck in the high slot, Pagliano picks it off, he finds Couture, Logan Couture empty net, score! And Logan Couture strikes again, and restores San Jose's two-goal lead with 39 seconds to go. Advantage here with 39 seconds left, Cogliano missed an empty net earlier. Be considered a disappointing loss here, a week off, plenty of practice time, they were really positive about what they had accomplished in that week of practice. But they end up losing the sand.